Hello and welcome to the virtual BMET open event. We'll take you on a journey to explore the world of BMET and the courses we have on offer across our colleges. My name is Jimmy and some of you might recognise me from attending events in your school to promote the courses we on offer across our three college sites, which are Matthew Bottom College, James Watt College and Sutton Caulfield College. Just before the event starts, guys, if you've got any hearing impairments or learning difficulties and would like a transcript of the event, please email ask at bmet.ac.uk we don't want you to miss a single thing. Okay guys, so this afternoon you'll hear from some of our subject specialists who will tell you more about our student experience at Matthew Bolton College. If you've got any questions for us today guys, which I'm sure you'll have, please get them into us from our Q&A function just below the screen right now. And we'll get as many questions answered as we can. We've got a team of people here today with us guys from the student experience lot. We've got the Ianthi, we've got T, we've got Lisa and also Donna as well. First up, we've got T joining us today. I'm going to hand over to T now. Hi, everybody. Great to have you here with us today. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you a bit about um, some of the support that's available for you uh, here at the college. I'm going to start off with mentoring. I'll start off with a quote. Mentoring is to support and encourage people to manage their own learning in order that they may maximise their potential, develop their skills, improve their performance, and become the person they want to be and that was a quote from Mary Parslow from the Oxford School of Coaching and Mentoring. Mentoring at Matthew Bolton College um, is available for all our learners. Uh, the college mentor's role is here to help you help provide uh, advice, guidance uh, for you along your learner journey. And if you're struggling with any aspect of your education, that could be within the college or out, uh, come and speak to one of the mentors and we'll be help, uh, happy to help you. I'll start off with a quote about mentoring. I'll finish up with a quote about mentoring about what the Department of Education says about mentors. And I say mentors are additional college-based staff whose job is to tackle any barriers which prevent young people from accessing learning effectively, whether the reason arise from within the college or from outside. I'm going to talk a bit about the counselling support that's available for you as well. And we like all our students to be supported as much as possible while studying here at Matthew Bolton. If you have a problem, and friends or family aren't able to help, counselling will provide you with an opportunity to talk and discuss your concerns or worries freely and openly and in a confidence environment with a counsellor who won't judge you or your issues. Sharing your feelings with a counsellor and finding solutions to move forward in your life can help you feel happier about yourself and raise your self-esteem. And some of the reasons why students access uh, the counselling service are anxiety, bereavement, depression, exam stress, family worries, relationship uh, worries, uh, or life events, um, to name but a few. All our college counsellors are fully qualified members and abide by the ethical guidelines of the British Association of Counselling and Psychotherapy. As well as the mentoring and the counselling, which are more uh, of a serious we got one element as well to the college, which is the enrichment. Now, our enrichment officer will help you gain experience outside of your college, regular college lessons. And these include everything from sports sessions, so it could be football, cricket, basketball, um, various social groups, uh, societies and clubs, debate groups. Um, we've got an LGBT, uh, LGBTQ uh, society. Um, the enrichment officer can help you with the, you know, arranging gigs, performances. This will provide you with, will also provide you with opportunities of volunteering your support uh, so you can add that to your UCAS uh, uh, entry and, and, and much, much more. And throughout the year, we also celebrate and appreciate different cultures and religions to give our students a wide experience and broaden their social awareness. The student enrichment officer will encourage you to have your say about things you like and things that you may not like and want to see changed. We encourage you to get involved with our student council by becoming a learner rep or your course rep, and to take part in the focus groups and become a college council rep, offering a chance for you to share your and share with your and your peers' views and ideas with fellow students and college staff to help shape your journey and make a difference within the college. Along that, along them sort of support networks, we also work with within, with our local community, um, and that offers us opportunities to to, to promote co community cohesion. And this is achieved by working with local religious establishments as well. We're able to support our community college community. Working alongside government organisations and non-government organisations has offered us uh, 
offer you the students opportunity to engage with these organizations and raise your awareness of the support that is available to you. Academic, this academic year, the, the Police Crime and Commission's Office came in and delivered a talk on uh, stop and search, know your rights, and 1,600 of our learners went through that training. I'm part of the community work also uh, offers us the opportunity to engage with the local businesses. If ever needed, uh, marry you, your course with, with the uh, job uh, uh, voluntary uh, experience. Um, on the back of that, I'm gonna pass, pass you over to Millie, who's our college career, career officer, will give you a bit more in-depth uh, guidance as to what her role is in the college. Over to Millie. Hello, welcome to this um, event, everyone. Um, as T said, I'm Millie Weir, short for Millicent, and I'm the careers advisor at Matthew Bolton College. The service that I provide at the college is an impartial information advice guidance service for potential students, as well as students who've already enrolled at the college, okay? And I'm here throughout the academic year. Um, I'm not like school careers advisors who might pop in. I'm here physically based at Matthew Bolton all through the academic year. The advice and support that I provide is around things like choosing college courses, progression from one level of course to the next level if you want, or progression to higher education, progression to apprenticeship schemes and I provide um, some input into tutorials basically if I'm um, invited by tutors. These tutorials can happen online or physically um, coming to your room where your tutorial takes place okay. Um, there are different ways that students can access the service on an individual basis as well. You can book a one-to-one -one careers appointment with me, either through my electronic diary or coming to the careers room, um, basically. So one-to-one -one appointment could be last half an hour, three quarters of an hour in the first place. I might need to book you follow-up appointments from that, okay? I also have drop-in sessions for quick queries about anything and everything. It could be about applying for um, voluntary work, it could be applying for a work placement opportunity, it could be applying for an apprenticeship or to help you with your UCAS application for higher education. Okay. And the service is actually based on the third floor of the college, Matthew Bolton College building at the back of the LRC. Um, we also, I'm part of a team that develops a, a scheme of events throughout the year. So we organize things like a volunteer fair, talks by representatives from universities to help with UCAS or higher education applications. All these events will be advertised on the student intranet that the communication service that most students use. Um, we also advertise these events through your tutors um, so that you can avail yourself of any opportunities that are available basically. Um, some of the things that we've assisted people in is accessing, say they've finished their A-levels or BTEC courses, we offer them support to say if they change their minds. This just yesterday I was dealing with someone who changed their mind about which university they want to attend basically. So right to, throughout the academic year, we are, I'm here available to assist anyone that needs my help. Okay, let me now hand over to Ayanthi, who's a student experience manager for Matthew Bolton College, who will talk to you more about the support services that the college offers. Thank you, Ayanthi. Thanks very much, Millie and T. Welcome everybody. Um, my name's Ayanthi Wassel, and I'm the student experience manager at Matthew Bolton College. Um, I'd like to introduce our our team. Jimmy, can we have the next slide? And again, Jimmy. So there's myself. I'm the student experience manager. We have Donna Woodley, um, who is our student services team leader. 
Lisa Underwood, who's our Student Services Operations Coordinator, and you've just met T, who looks after all our pastoral enrichment activities. Um, I'd like to talk to you very briefly about our um, policy of being ready, respectful, safe. Jimmy, could we have the next slide? This is basically how we cover our um, code of conduct. We don't have lots of rules and regulations for you to remember. We simply expect all of our students um, to be ready, respectful and safe regarding all behaviours. And as you can see there, we've got some examples on the screen of how students interpret our ready, respectful, safe. We also take safeguarding as a very high priority. Could I have the next slide, Jimmy? And these are our safeguarders. Um, we consider at Matthew Bolton, every, it's everybody's responsibility um, to be a safeguarder, but we do have a committed team of champions. Um, everybody has ongoing training and we have really good secure methods of recording and referral. But these friendly faces are available for you to um, go to if you have any concerns, as well as your personal tutor and any, any other member of staff. Now I'm going to hand over to Lisa Underwood, um, who's going to talk to you um, a bit about our student services, what students say about us, and how you can be supported with the costs of your, your learning. Over to you, Lisa. Thanks, Ianthi. Hi, everyone. My name is Lisa Underwood, Student Experience Coordinator and Designated Safeguarder. Welcome to the next part of this presentation, which myself and my colleague Donna Woodley will go through with you about the information and services you can find in student services and our library. There is an opportunity at the end of this presentation to ask more questions if you have them. You will find a team of 10 dedicated, friendly student services and library staff, two of which are safeguarding champions. On the ground floor at Matthew Bolton, we have a reception area for students and visitors. Students can get general advice and guidance, self-serve timetables, replacement ID cards and day classes, plus much, much more. Student services and our extensive library can be found on the third floor. Our staff provide bursary support advice and guidance and can go into more detail about the financial support packages detailed in the next slide. We issue travel support, and provide extra support for the, our most vulnerable learners at the college. We also provide confirmation letters to confirm you're a student, if for example you wish to open a bank account, and you, parents or guardians may ask you for a council tax exemption certificate. This is also something we can help you with at Student Services. We also provide enrolment information, such as timetables. We can change your information, for example, change of address, or courses, to name just a few. We can also refer and signpost you to our other support services, careers, mentoring and counselling services. Next slide please, Jimmy. We are always listening and gaining feedback from our students to improve our service. On screen for you to view are some of the comments our current students have said about us and our services. Next slide, Jimmy. We are here to help with the cost of study and have a wide range of financial support packages to remove barriers to learning. The government gives the college a fund to help those in financial need with the cost of study. Providing you meet the criteria, we will provide financial support, as you can see on the screen. You will receive information about how to apply for our bursary once you have completed enrolment. I'm now going to hand you over to my colleague Donna Woodley to go through information about our library area. Next slide please. Thanks Lisa. So hi, I'm Donna, Student Services and Business Support Team Leader. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the library and learning resource services that we have on offer. So just picture it, we're on the third floor and we've got two large rooms. One is the learning resource centre and the other is the library. So your teacher will ask you to go downstairs and get out your um, library textbook for the year. So you'll come up to the library, you'll produce your ID card and you'll take out something that we call a core textbook. That core textbook is your subject area book and you'll use that throughout the whole academic year. But we also have supporting texts as well that we hope you'll get out, which will help with your researching um, and, and wider reading. We also have a healthy amount of fiction books to spark the imagination or give you that little bit of respite um, when you think that you've been studying too hard. 
Um, we provide quiet spaces for you to study um, individually or in groups, because obviously your tutors will be asking you to do group work um, in our study areas. And we have over 100 computers across the library and the Learning Resource Centre for you to use. Um, and if that's not enough, we also have additional daily laptop and home service where you can get out a laptop in the morning and you can take it back in the afternoon. Uh, on top of that, we have photocopying and printing facilities which you'll access with your college ID card as well. We support you with self-directed study um, to show you how to search for things online or maybe our library catalogue or maybe some of the other IT resources that we have for you. And now that we're studying from home, we also um, have external access to e-books and e-electronic resources. So it means that you can get a similar kind of um, a library, I suppose, your library is generally at home on your computer. We deliver information and skill sessions to support you with self-study time. And um, our staff are on hand to help you get onto Wi-Fi, Pro Portal, College Email, and other useful apps that you're going to be using while you're at Matthew Bolton. And lastly, we provide a reading scheme that we, work, that we, that we offer in conjunction with Reading Ahead to help improve literacy um, for all our students at Matthew Bolton and also improve mental well-being as well. So there's a lot going on and there's a lot that's been said today. So if you come in September and you've got lots of questions and you just want to know more about student services or financial support or the library or anything in general, just know that we're here to help. Just basically just ask us whether we're on the first floor or whether we're on the, the, <laughs> the third floor. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you for listening. I'm going to move on now to uh, my colleague Vicky who's going to talk about additional learning support. So if we can have the next slide and then over to Vicky. Thanks Donna. Welcome to additional learning support. I'm Vicky Robbins and I'm the support coordinator for Matthew Bolton College. On this slide you can see some of the members of my team which are made up of in-class support and those that work in the study centre. We also offer um, specialist assessments for young people that may require exam support. Thank you. Next slide. Okay. So some of the ways that we help young people is um, in class support. Those are usually young people that have got an education, health and care plan. I'm the one that's responsible for looking after those young people um, along with the tutors to make sure that they get the support that's required. Um, we usually offer a, a interview with those young people to make sure that the college is able to make their support needs. Um, so if you haven't had one of those interviews yet, please pop your details into the ask and they'll get them over to me. We have a study centre which provides additional support for English and Maths and that is outside of timetabled lessons, so lots and lots of extra support there. Um, we aim to increase independence with our young people and get them ready for the, the world of work. So a lot of our support is gearing up to that independence course um, and making sure that the education that they're studying with us at BMET is accessible to them. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them at the end of the session. Thank you. It's over to me again, Jimmy, and I've just got a few more Sorry, messages to, you. to talk to you about um, before we start taking your questions. Um, first of all, a lovely thing we do, we celebrate our students' achievements on a monthly and yearly basis. Um, we have Star of the Month. <clears throat> if you'd like to flick through these pictures for me, Jimmy. Um, we have our student Star of the Month each month, and we have a celebration of achievement event at the end of the year as well. Um, we've had... Um, some great events. We have had um, Malala Yousafzai's father celebrate the achievement of our students. Birmingham is um, very important to him and his daughter, um, and there he is. Um, and that was our student of the month when he came in to celebrate that with us. Thank you very much, Jimmy. I've just got a few more messages if we can flick on. About, I'm sure you, some of you have concerns about how we're going to enrol and how we're going to deal with the extraordinary circumstances we find ourselves in. In terms of enrolment, um, we will keep you posted on our website, um, bmet.ac.uk, 
um, but we will we are intending to have applications online if that's not possible we will have support on the phone and if that's not possible either we will be sending out for invites only um, and we will be managing that very carefully if we can have the next slide because of the situation we find ourselves in next slide PG, thank you in september um, we would like to assure you that your safety is our, our priority we have a regimen of cleaning managing our numbers um, you may wear a mask um, but as we are only providing those that are usually needed at college um, we're going to be practicing social distancing as you all know the rules are ever changing but we're going to um, be, be doing what's currently advised by the government and the medical experts um, and we will always provide um, information for you at the moment the flow of our building um, facilitates people not passing so we're doing lots and lots of work with our estates team um, and finally um, I'd like to just mention our commitment to equality and diversity um, on the next slide please Jimmy um, it's at the heart of everything we do at BMET and embedded in our cult culture and obviously we have a zero tolerance of discrimination or harassment um, over to you Jimmy Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to just quickly read this uh, statement here from, from Cliff, our principal. So we're sure that you join us being very disturbed by the death of George Floyd in America. We stand alongside everyone and all those who are applauded by the death of George Floyd and horrified by the way he lost his life and hope that justice and, accountable, and accountability sorry, follow. Equality, diversity and inclusion are at the heart of our college and are integral to the culture in which we work and study. We promote mutual respect and say zero tolerance approach to any form of discrimination or harassment. The chair of the college staff, the BAME network group has shared a personal account of the profound impact that this has had on her and her family. Please read this powerful statement inspiration. Please read this powerful and inspirational message, sorry, on our website at bmet.ac.uk. We'll forever stand in unity with our ethnic minority communities and stand together with people across the globe to speak out against racism. We strive to create a world that is smarter, stronger, and kinder. So now guys, we're gonna move on to our live Q&A. We've had loads of questions come in. I'm conscious that we've only got a few minutes left, so I'm gonna get these out as soon as possible. So the first one is, how do I apply for a college bursary fund? How do I apply and what's the tips behind it? I'm gonna head this one over to our Donna. Let's go over to Donna. Um, so to apply, um, after you enrol, you'll get an email that has um, information about how you log on. Your application is then done online. So all you need to do is actually fill out the information on the application, upload the evidence, which is usually to do with household income, um, and then submit your actual form. Once that's submitted, um, then our staff and student services will assess your form to see whether you actually fall on um, which you actually are eligible for our criteria, which is you've got to be about 1.6 miles away from college um, to be eligible for tra travel. And if you're 16 to 18 on the first, um, 16 to 18, or you have an ECHP up to 25, then we're looking for a household income that's under 25,000. If you're a 19 plus student, uh, then we're looking for a household income under 21,000. And if you're advanced and alone, again, we're looking for an income under 25,000. So if you've, as long as you can meet that criteria, um, as long as you do two days a week, and then we will assess that and odds are you will actually be getting that bursary. I thought hope that does it. Back to you, Jimmy. Thanks, Donna. Thank you very much for that. Okay, guys, so literally we've got two minutes left, so I need one more question in. And the question is, how, how do I book in myself uh, a session with the careers advisor? How easy is it? I think this person has just come in recently and they've missed out some of the, uh, the talk. Many over to you for that one, if that's okay. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, to book a careers appointment, um, there are several different ways that you can do this. Um, first of all, you, I will be setting up a online diary, which students can access via the student intranet MyMet to book themselves into careers appointments. As well as that, they can come up to the, the library um, or the LRC on the third floor and book in from there, either with myself in the careers interview room or on the, the library front desk. And 
finally, if you can't find any of us in the LRC or in the library, you can always ask at the student services reception desk on the third floor. Also, finally, your tutors, you can ask your tutors to make a referral or request for a careers interview for you if, you're, if you can't access any other way. And I will get back to you and your tutor as soon as possible. Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks, Millie. Very well answered. Lovely. Thank you very much. So guys, we are fast running out of time now. We've got three minutes left, so I'm going to have to wrap up here with the questions. If you've got any more questions, guys, I can see you guys have, please get them into ask at bmet.ac.uk. We'll get them answered as soon as possible. So guys, we, have, we, have, we do have further college courses across our sites. I know that this part of the presentation or this talk today is about our support networks, but of course, we've, it's all about our college courses as well at the same time, isn't it? It runs alongside. So again, you can see all of our college courses online at bmet.ac.uk forward slash course search. You can go and see there what you can offer. Okay, guys, we're just gonna move forward. So guys, finally then, you can sit back and relax and watch this short video on the insides and outsides, the workings of the Matthew Bolton College. Enjoy. There we have it then, folks. Thank you very much for joining today. If you're collecting your results this summer, or if you already have them, head over to our college website on bmet.ac.uk to apply for a place at college this September. You'll be given a conditional offer and sent more information on how to enrol when it's closer to the time. From all the team here at BMET, we hope you enjoyed this session and we look forward to welcoming you guys in September. Thank you. <laughs>